O Academy, where art thou antennas? To see what y'all are going to say about this story right here. Now, when I first read just the, well, I already read the story alone. It reminded me so much of a story that I talked about on my channel. I think it was earlier this year and sometime last year. But we'll get into all of that when that time comes up. But in this picture, you see a man by the name of Jesse Lee Santos. He's a dance instructor. Um, I actually found out that he used to be a backup dancer for Britney Spears and Will Smith. So this guy has some years in the industry. Well, now he's about to possibly be facing years in another industry, the prison industry, because it has just come out that this guy, uh, is facing charges for having sex with a child and the child is a boy now based on what i have read it says that this guy was having sex with this um boy and he's out of las vegas and they said he groomed this young dancer and sexually assaulted this boy for a two-year period and he has been arrested and he faces a total of 17 counts, including sexual assault, lewdness with a minor, sexual contact between a school employee and a student, child abuse, and intentional transmission of HIV. So, yes, he has the unfortunate gift that keeps on giving. Now, why I said that, this reminds me of another story, because if y'all remember, I did a story about a, another member of the academy hall g just like this guy and i believe this happened in mississippi somewhere one of those southern states it was a black guy where he was a dance instructor and he was having sex with one of the uh dancers who was a minor and this person too also had hiv see this is why i can't take the academy that serious because they have all the smoke for everybody else and very little for their own. At least on a, in a way where they should be really pushing against something like this. Because not only did this person and the other person I talked about in the past have sex with an, a minor, which is definitely a federal level crime. But they also willingly knew they already they knew that they had HIV with the intent of passing it on now they said that this guy has sex with this minor over a two-year period and he knew he had hiv i'm willing to bet over those two years that there was some sexual encounters in which protection was not used but they said with the intent to pass hiv now i don't know if the minor he had sex with or even that employee, like they mentioned in the article as well, have it or even been tested for it. But what's so scary about it is, is because you have places like California, the so-called most liberal state who has put on the books that if a person has HIV or AIDS, they don't have to let their part. They don't have to disclose their status to their partner or whoever it is that they're having sex with. And if their partner catches or contracts the virus or the disease then they cannot go after the person who gave it to them on felony charges they can only it's almost like they can only get them with a misdemeanor like they literally are giving people out in california slaps on the wrist for this type of crime that's the scary part about it California is a dangerous state alone just for that. I mean, they're dangerous for other reasons, but that right there is severe because you're literally not you're basically almost giving this person a life sentence that has um, possible death attached to it. Imagine you got to take you got to take meds for the rest of your life just to stay alive because there's, quote unquote, no known cure for this. But see, the Academy in all halls don't like to talk about this. This is the second story I've come across in the last year where something like this has occurred. And I'm willing to bet this is not that, that I'm willing to bet that there is more out there like this. 
this is not the end all be all. It's many people out there who are that vindictive who will willingly try to pass this on. It's one thing that this guy had sexual encounters with, they said, an employee because apparently that person had to be over 18. But he had sex with a minor. Now, I don't know how old the minor is because they didn't say, uh, okay, I'm looking at it right now. They said that the victim, the minor, was between 15 and 17 years of age, and the sexual encounters began between 2015 and 2017. They said that the victim estimated that he was sexually assaulted 10 to 15 times over a two-year period. They said it began with unwanted touching and escalated to actual sexual assault, which the victim would wake up to, which means this guy was having sex or doing sexual whatever with this person while they were sleeping, which means I would not be surprised if this person traveled with them, you know, whenever they go where they were and they would find a way to sneak in to maybe this person's room or wherever they were to get close to them and do what they did. I'm trying to see if there's anything uh, else here. They said, of course, he denied his allegations and they said he was taken into custody after SWAT raided his home. Now, that's serious. If SWAT comes to your house and they raid your home, that means they have some evidence, some hardcore evidence on you. And knowing how this guy gets down, they need to check his computers as well, because I wouldn't be surprised if some kind of child pornography was somewhere in his in, in, in his um in his database, because usually when people engage in those kind of things with children or those who would be deemed minors, then um, nine times out of ten, they have some kind of a stash of child pornography lying around somewhere. But look at this. It said he groomed dancers. He groomed them. And they said that he would uh he would take them to dance competitions out of state and employing them at his company. So for all intents and purposes, that employee that he was messing with could have been a minor too. For all we know. And see that when people who are like this guy, a lot of people who are rapists or people who do sexual assault, they can be master manipulators. And that's exactly what it sounds like this guy was because they say he groomed these, um, these kids. And that's what led him to do what he did. He gained their trust. And like I said, minors, their minds are very impressionable. So they're going to do what they feel that some kind of an adult is going to tell them to do. If they think it means that they'll get ahead somehow. He probably told them, oh, you're great. You're one of the best dancers in the class. I'm going to move you up. You're going to be like my protege and he said he probably said i'll have you meet all kinds of people you know the usual stuff that gets in people's heads that be like wow they really think this highly of me but then before you know it that starts to segue into uh i guess you could say predatory territory and that's exactly what this guy did and that's what a lot of people who are into this kind of thing do because they say, you know, rape, sexual assault, it's about power. But it's not just power in the physical sense, but it's power in the mental thing. So it's almost like mental captivity. And I've always said, if someone can get you physically, that's one thing. But if they can get inside of your head, that's a whole nother monster you're dealing with. And that's exactly what he is, a monster. So hopefully he gets exactly what he deserves. And like I said, I don't think the academy is going to talk about this but then again they rarely ever do talk about things like this because it, it it hurts their bottom line but what's so scary is you have people out here that's trying to push legislation where they want to make that p word and y'all know what i'm talking about legal look at nabla they actually have a whole organization the net that was it, the national american man boy love association like that is crazy. And I actually had the displeasure one time of actually just clicking onto their website just to see what it was. And I quickly clicked off of it. Like just those images did not sit right with me at all. But of course, when I clicked on it, it was mostly palm colored men. So that lets you know who's pushing this legislation the hardest. But that's really my entire take on this situation right here. Y'all let me know what you think.